turn on the machine, the power button is on the right hand side. So you can flip that on. Um, the upper threading is going to happen up here. This is where you're going to wind your bobbin. This right here is to adjust tension. Uh, you have your pedal down here. This section is called the throat of the machine. This is your presser foot. This piece here is called the leg. The presser foots can be presser feet can be removed. Um, and in front here, you have a couple of buttons that are specific to this machine. So you have um, a needle button, which will lower and raise the needle. A thread snipper, so pressing that will actually cut the thread for you. This is your um, reverse stitch button. Um, this one here uh, will tell you whether you're ready to start sewing. So if it's red, you are not ready. For instance, right now the presser foot is up, so you can't start. If you lower the presser foot, it will switch to green, so then you can start sewing. And this right here is your speed control. Um, so we'll start with winding the bobbin. The first thing you're going to do is get your spool of thread. The thread should be coming up the front. Raise this and slide it on. And you're going to use one of these little pieces to keep the thread in there securely. And you want that to match approximately the size of the spool of the thread. Of thread. So if you're using a larger spool of thread, you'll use a larger end piece. This thread is coming up the front, and you can follow the, some of the instructions are actually printed on the machine. So you can slide the thread under this little hook and under this, and now you're gonna come forward Go to the right of this little hook and around to the left of this tensioner and then bring it over here to where the bobbin mechanism is. You can slide your bobbin on here. We're using uh, plastic bobbins and then wind the tail of your thread clockwise onto the bobbin. Now you're going to slide this whole mechanism to the right you can see that then this button turns from red to yellow, which means that the machine knows that you want to wind a bobbin now instead of um, so using the needle. So you can now choose whether you want to wind the bobbin using this button, or um, if you want to use the pedal uh, to wind the bobbin, you can do that. If you're going to use the button on the machine, you do need to disconnect the pedal. So this bobbin needs to be wound counterclockwise. Normally you would fill the bobbin and it'll stop you eventually when it's getting close to full. Uh, you can slide it back to the left, pop it off, and trim the thread on the thread trimmer right over here on the left of the machine. All right, we're gonna thread, uh, do the upper threading on the brother machine. So I have my spool of thread that I'm going to use here. We're going to slip the end cap off. This lifts up so that you can slide the spool of thread on. You want your thread to be coming off of the spool in a clockwise direction. So we've got that. You can slip the end cap back on. That's to keep the spool in there securely. Now we can take this thread and you can actually follow uh, the numbers printed on the machine. Um, you can go under this little hook around here and you're going to come down the front. It sometimes helps to hold the thread a little bit taut. Um, you're going to come down here and loop under here where it says the number three. And then if you look inside here, you'll see, you should see it moving, a um, metal piece. There's a hook on there and you're going to slide your thread into that so that it gets caught in there and it should be going in uh, from right around to the left and coming out the left and then if you go down you can see the number five and the number six is back here <clears throat> right above the needle and there's a little hook right underneath it and you're going to slip your thread in there from right to left and then the last thing is just to thread the needle. If you have a messy 
end of your thread. You can just use the thread snipper on the left of the machine to clean that up. And then pass the thread through the needle from the front to the back. And then the thread, depending on what foot you're using, uh, but on this one you're going to slide the thread through that middle slot and pull the thread to the back. So now you have the upper part of your machine threaded. Now we can do the bobbin. So here you have your bobbin, which you've wound um, on the top. And we're going to slide it in here. So if you look here, you have uh, your bobbin compartment. And you're going to open that with this right here. Slide that to the side. And you're going to place your bobbin in here. And the thread should be coming off to the left. And there's also an instruction for that here, right here if you forget. Um, pop the bobbin in, and then you're going to follow these arrows. So you're going to slide it under this, up, and around, and to the left. And right here at the end of that track is also a little blade to snip the thread. So you can snip it there. Um, if you leave a tail, though, sometimes that can help to pull the bobbin thread up, which we're going to do in the next step right here. So I'm going to leave that tail, and then I'm going to slide the lid back on that little compartment. And now to pull the bobbin thread up underneath here, um, I'm going to hold the upper thread a little bit taut with my left hand, and then I'm going to use the wheel and I'm going to lower the needle. So as I turn the wheel toward me, the needle lowers and comes back up. And you can actually see the thread will be caught in here. And when I tug a little bit on here, it's going to come up. And you may have to run a tool under there just to grab it. And there is the white bobbin thread coming up. So pull that all the way until your tail is out. And now you have the upper thread and the bobbin thread. And you can pass them to the back, leave a tail so that they don't get caught up in your sewing when you start. And uh, then you're ready to start sewing. All right, so now we're ready. We have the upper and lower threads threaded, and we're ready to start stitching. So I'm going to slip my fabric under here. And we're just going to take a look real quick at these buttons again. Um, this one right here is your speed control. So if you want to keep it on the slowest, that's just going to mean that even if you floor the pedal, it's not going to let you go very fast. You can bump it up as you feel more confident. Um, this button is an automatic thread cutter. So that'll snip your thread at the end of your sewing if you'd like it to. You can also just pull it and use the, the snipper on the edge here. Um, this button right here will lower and raise your needle. So you can see that. Um, this is your uh, reverse stitch button, so that's going to allow you to go backwards. Um, and this button right here is red right now. It's telling me that the machine is not ready to sew because I have not lowered my presser foot yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with this uh, lever that's right here. And you can see that this is now switched to green and telling me that you are ready to start sewing. So we're going to go forward a couple stitches, and then when you decide you'd like to back up, you can just put your thumb on this, keep it down for as long as you want to go backwards, and let it go, and then we can keep going forwards. When you come to the end, if your needle is down, you can either press this button to raise your needle, or you can use the wheel on the right-hand side. Pull it up, lift your presser foot, and now I can snip the ends right here on this little blade.